Do you know how to find that one piece of information that's going to break through and solve all your problems? Well, maybe I don't either, but join me as we look at this point of view. Well, it's Mark Lowe, Kentucky Tennessee Research, and we're looking at just ways to get going. And I have recently uh, been duplicating some old cassette tapes, and it made me realize how often I'm looking for a single piece of information, whether it's a newspaper or an old article or some document or a letter or a court case or something on the internet somewhere, wherever it might be, how to really focus and figure out exactly where it is. And the perfect example is in, in duplicating a tape the other day, uh, I knew that I had heard my dad uh, do a prayer. Now, there's not so much genealogical information, but it's a recording of my dad leading a prayer. And I knew it was somewhere on a tape. Well, is it marked on there? Can I go exactly to it and find it? And so I'm probably going to have to spend some time in, in duplicating that. I'm converting those to MP4 and I could edit and that sort of thing. So I've got to look at the time involved. So if it's a 90 minute tape, which means there's uh, generally 90 minutes on each side, then is that, you know, or it's an hour tape. Where is it? At the beginning or the end? Of course, it's probably in the middle somewhere on one of the two sides. There's going to be lots of other information. I'm going to have to sort through it. So generally, it's going to be, you know, an easier process is can I listen to it in a fast way? And there are certain software options where I could, I could actually duplicate the whole tape and then listen to it at double speed, you know, or that sort of thing. Or I could just listen to the tape and duplicate, find it, and then just record the piece of information I want. That is exactly how we sometimes need to find genealogical information. You know, we often get so tied up in that process of looking for the piece of information, we just get overwhelmed. So let's look at that from a different perspective and let's talk about some research strategies that I think can help you find information because we never know exactly where it is. By the way, I love this whole concept of breaking things down. So it's if it's a hard something we're trying to find or something that we don't know the answer to first of all if it's a bigger problem break it down into small manageable segments you know a year is broken down into 12 months and a month is broken down into so many days roughly around 30 days so the same way that we can break things down and then within those each of those days there are 24 hours and within 24 hours, each hour, there are 60, 60 minutes, and then that has seconds. We can break everything we're doing down into more manageable segments. And our time always needs to be a part of that. You can always focus your research when, you are, when you're able to do things in a smaller group. You're actually able to accomplish more. And I would encourage you to think about how can we break things down into a smaller way. Because you're not going to be able to do it until you realize, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. Trust me. Research planning still has to be a part of our work, whether we've been doing it 50 years, 100 years, or one day we start. Coming up with an idea of where are we going to find that. And often, in regard to figuring out where a piece of information is, go back to your general idea. What is it you're trying to find out? What is the question? And then, when you ask where the question that you're trying to answer, think about where answers might be found. And this is the whole concept of relaxing and doing some really good mull and ponder. Because in the aspect of just relaxing and just thinking, where might I find that answer? You may come up with lots of situations or lots of ideas. You can jot those down. You can put them in your research plan on your computer. You can pull an index card and make notes. You can just pull up a notepad and just make notes. I think this might be a good source. 
this might be a good source. You don't have to go look at it immediately. In fact, I would discourage that. Now, if you need to go look at some information about it, fine. But I generally think, and you're just thinking about where might this be, you might be thinking of some alternative options. Uh, if you're looking for an accident that, in, that involved one or two of your ancestors, and let's say the accident related to a car, um, were, were there other people involved? Where might that information be reported? Was it uh, enough that it would be recorded in a newspaper account or some other media account, radio or TV? Um, were, were the police called? Will there be a police record? Um, were, were they injured? Would there have been uh, accounts in the newspaper about the injuries? Are there hospital records? You start thinking about all the options that relate to that. None of those may pan out to have the answer. But any one of those may have multiple things. Um, were there other witnesses involved? And so as we begin to look beyond the pale of just this piece of information and just sit back and relax and just think, where might I find that piece of information? You're going to suddenly realize that in everything that you're trying to do, there's more information related to each record. And think about it as those pieces of a puzzle. It may not be, you may not need all of the puzzle pieces to resolve everything, but all of the pieces help you toward refining that final solution. You know, it's amazing to me that if we're looking for something specific, which would be, for example, like joining a military uh, lineage society, somewhere in there, there's got to be military service, right? But to get to that point, we have to do it step by step. And a good plan always has clearly defined steps. I want you to be thinking about those steps as you're planning your strategy. And then when you do that, breaking those projects down into those manageable segments will make you, I don't know, a better researcher and will help you find information that you're struggling with sometimes just locating it. You know, I wish I could tell you that I know there's an easy way to find that next piece of information. But I will tell you this, persistence does pay and it helps to go through and look at information. Sometimes just that relaxing point of what I call that mull and pondering, if I stop and think about it, I begin to have ideas and my ideas often lead me in so many different directions that managing them, but if I look at this one, then this one, as I think about them, make notes, and then go back and say, you know, that seems the most logical place to look for the answer. We're going to do a lot of sharing of information. We're starting a new month. Welcome to February. Can you believe it? Uh, tomorrow is Groundhog Day. This is also Black History Month, and I'll be sharing some um, some old, I'm going to some pull out, since I've been duplicating tapes, I found some old lectures and I'll be sharing those in bits and pieces and, and free sharing some of the old stuff, including handouts. And if you'll just uh, pay attention, I'll share them in various places and you'll be able to enjoy those uh, as I find them and put them together, then I'm gonna make them available to you. There's still some good pieces of information on there and that I wanna share. The next time that you need to find an answer somewhere, I want you to stop, I want you to relax, I want you to think about what is the question, clearly define it. I want you to think about where might the answer be, and if I don't find it there, where else might it be, who else might involve, and, and actually jot all that down. And then sit down and think which one of those is probably the most logical place to look first, and then look second, and perhaps even look third. Then take a deep breath. Enjoy the fact that you get to do genealogical research because there's nothing more fun. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. So long.